Hello, good day, greetings. My name is Tyler Ellison, and I am so excited because I am going to be delivering to all of you a Ryok transmission that I will now allow to flow through me. So enjoy, everybody, and thank you for being you. All right, and we thank you so much for your attention in this transmission. It is our joy, our passion, our excitement to be able to speak to each of you in this unique way. We will be exploring the following concept with you this day of your time, and the concept relates to the idea of your body being a mirror for the idea of your externalized physical reality. We will explain. You have the phrase on your world, as above, so below, as within, so without. And the idea is that your body, in many ways, acts as a symbolic mirror in relationship to the experiences that you have within your physical reality framework. So, by paying attention to some of the challenges that you have with your body, you could begin to analyze through the reflection, the challenge, so you can begin to determine how that challenge in relationship to your body may relate to certain challenges that you are having in your external reality in relationship to your social life, in relationship to your local reality, in relationship to your collective reality. And through shifting the body consciousness and your relationship with your body, you may begin to notice that your relationship and your experience with the external reality begins to change. Now understand, your body is an aspect of the external reality. However, it represents the idea of the aspects of the external reality that are most relevant to your inner state. We will explain. You understand that your frequency generates reality. It is your state of being that co-creates reality in terms of your experience of it. So understand, because in terms of proximity, your body is the closest thing to what you consider to be your consciousness in terms of your illusion of distance. Understand that your body consciousness will most immediately begin to reflect the idea of the energies that you are using to create your reality back to you. And the idea is that the body represents, in terms of a series of mirrors, the mirror that is closest to you in relationship to the series. The external reality and the things within it, the subjects within it, that are not necessarily your physical body, 
relate to the idea of the more distal mirrors within the series. So through paying attention to your body, you can begin to understand the types of energies that you are using and how these energies in relationship to how you work with your body can also co-create experiences in your reality that you do not prefer in relationship to energies that are not aligned with your true nature. For understand that what you put out is what you get back and should you energetically put out frequencies that are not in alignment with your true nature, you will first observe that, generally speaking, somewhere within your body consciousness. You will also begin to experience parallel reflections in relationship to external reality reflections in the mirror that are not the body consciousness. And you could begin to observe your physical body, your relationship to it, and you can begin to reflect upon how that particular relationship and the themes within that relationship relate to other themes in your external reality that relate to personal relationships, that relate to experiences in your local reality, experiences in your relationship with others, experiences in your collective reality, and so on and so forth. We will now give you a few examples to clarify this a little more for you. You may find that you have a particular food craving. The food craving may relate to the idea of sweet food. You find that you gravitate towards sweet food in your reality. This may be, for some of you, reflecting the idea of the experience of lack in relationship to the sweetness of life in your external reality. Maybe you do not feel that your relationships are reflecting that quality of sweetness, of nurturing, Maybe you find that you're not engaging in activities of play or expression in your physical reality that reflect back to you the qualities of sweetness. As a side effect of that, you may notice that you gravitate towards sweet foods in relationship to how you're nourishing your body to compensate for the experience of lack in relationship to your sensation in regards to the sweetness of life. You may notice that you crave spicy foods and this may relate to you not feeling as if you have the ability to explore your life with passion, to explore your life with spunk, with enthusiasm. So you feel through food, you must spice it up a little bit to again compensate for the sensation of the external lack of of the sensation of spice within one's life. You may notice that you have an aversion to physical exercise, to strengthening your body. And you may also find that in your life, you do not, in many situations, fully exercise your power in your reality. So, as a form of reflection in relationship to not exercising your power, You may notice that in relationship to your physical body, you do not exercise your physical body. There are many other examples you can begin to draw from. You may notice that you have an aversion to rest. You have an aversion towards going to bed. An aversion towards going to sleep. And when you do not rest, when you do not sleep, You also do not dream as deeply. And this may relate to the idea of in your external reality, you not fully following your dreams. You not fully aligning with the idea of your dream path. And this can be, again, another reason why some of you have aversions towards going to bed. Why some of you have aversions towards sleeping and developing a regular sleep cycle, which would allow for you to have regular dream experiences. So understand that using this information, you can rectify, you can balance some of these imbalances within your system, both internally and externally. For example, you may notice that should you begin 
to physically exercise, if you fall into that category that we mentioned, you may begin to notice that you feel within your own body consciousness the sensation of your personal power. And you may then notice that in your relationships externally, in your paths externally, you will feel your power, you will know your power, and you will begin to express your power more dominantly. You may notice that should you let go of giving into sweet foods, if you fall into the category we mentioned, you will find that you'll begin to perceive in your external reality, in your relationships, with yourself, with others, in your activities, the sweetness of life. And you may begin, if you fall into the category of the individual who craves spice, through reducing the idea of the spice intake, you may notice that in your physical reality experience, your sensation of your own natural fire begins to awaken. You may begin to notice that your ability to feel the joy, to feel the passion in the activities, in the relationships that you are a part of, begins to increase. And through the idea of observing your body, observing what you understand as imbalance, and shifting the energy so you cease to create the imbalance, you may notice that in your physical life, a variety of different scenarios, experiences, relationships begin to shift, begin to change in the direction of your preference. Because in order for you to make that change within your behavior in terms of your relationship with your body, what is first required is the idea of you shifting, the idea of you changing your own underlying energy. It requires you to draw upon your own creativity, your own power, your own willingness, your own openness to make that change. And as you adorn that state of being, of empowerment, of creativity, of enthusiasm, that enables you to create those changes in relationship to how you treat and work with your body, you will notice that that same energy will ripple into the external reality. Understand that. These themes we have mentioned are very much connected in relationship to the themes you notice in your body that are, in that sense, connected to the external themes and the greater external reality. So as you adorn that energy and make the shift in relationship to how you work with your body, you will begin to notice that that will have a positive entanglement effect that will enable you to very easily shift the idea of how you perceive and work with and experience the themes and subjects within the greater externalized reality, thus allowing for you to experience rapid change. There is a reason why many of your natural physicians speak of the importance of paying attention to your body, paying attention to your body consciousness. And you will find that as you nurture your body consciousness, as you work with your body consciousness, and as you create balance within your body consciousness, the greater external reality will follow suit. And the idea is that it's simply a matter of the physics. You are, through shifting that imbalance in relationship to the body, you are generating a positive state which will have a ripple effect. As you make that change in relationship to how you treat your body, that is an action step. So that action step represents in many ways the opening of a door from one parallel reality to the next. And as you make the action step, you then walk through that door. So you will experience a new version of reality that is a vibrational match for the changes that you have created within yourself. Remember, the energy comes first, the state of being. The action will naturally follow as you allow for that preferred state of being to become dominant. Choose it no matter what with no expectation of what it must do. Let it flow through you. Let yourself feel that state of being in every part of your body. Let yourself feel that state of being coursing through you. Amplify it with your breath. Amplify it with your imagination. 
And no matter what you experience, allow for yourself to stay in that positive state. Bringing that energy to any sensation of imbalance, washing the idea of the imbalanced energy with that positive state. And as you continue to do this, as you continue to nurture yourself and to wash the imbalances with the positive energy, you will rapidly gain the momentum to create the shifts in relationship to how you treat your body, which will have a profound effect in how you experience your externalized reality. We thank you for your attention in this co-creation. And as always, our civilization's unconditional love to each and every single one of you. And we wish you an exciting, vibrant, colorful, beautiful now. And good day.